Jenny Simmer here with another um, tutorial on my channel. In this tutorial, I will be talking about how to make an intro for your, you know, YouTube channel or whatever with the template from Velocify and using Windows Movie Maker. Um, all the templates from Velocify say like download for Sony Vegas or download for After Effects but I do know how to use Windows Movie Maker so it works. I do think occasionally you might come across the odd one that shows up black, but that's fine. Just move along to another one if it does not work. So you go to Velocify. I will put the link down in the description and you go through and you scroll through, pick a whatever one you want here. There is 3D ones uh, for three, I don't think that's a 3D one, but there is 3D ones. If, you think you have to use blender for that so i stick to the 2d ones they seem to work so i'm going to pick this one here you know you can go through watch it does give you a little clip here you can watch it for a second um i have no idea if you guys are going to hear that or not it's super cute this one's actually really nice so yeah you just get an idea okay i like that one so download for sony vegas really easy um it will require you to be Oh, subscribe to YouTube and to uh, follow them on Twitter, I believe it is. And it takes about 30 seconds to download, so I'll come back. Okay, so the download is ready now. So you hit download and it will take you, I don't know why it's taking so long. It will, okay, it will take you here and this is fine. I've never had any troubles with this. This is also why, because I trust this. Uh, so just hit... I mean, it's not my fault though if something happens, like I always close the pop-up, so. <laughs> um, so anyway, so save, and that's only gonna take a couple seconds so we can wait here. And running security, okay, so then you go to open folder, and yes, I need to clean out my download thing. <laughs> anyway, so I did 95, um, you just click on it, double click on it, and it will open it up in WinRAW here. A, um, so this is what I found out. Okay, I'll have Windows. Okay, so what you need open is your Windows Movie Maker, you know, create, then movie. I can't show you the step to get to that point because it shows my name up here. I have to sign out. So anyway, so you go into here and we'll minimize that. So first off, when I was originally, uh oh, what happened there? Okay, when I was originally doing this, like this took me a while to figure out exactly how to make this work. When I was originally doing it, I was dragging the clip like this and see it shows up as an error. So just remove that. It doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't work. Like maybe some people know that, but I don't. So what I do is I drag it to my desktop and then I guess there's like, what is there? There's music and the sound, I'm confused. I don't know actually what's going on there. So I'll just add both of them if it will let me. So, okay, so I added all that. There might be like a read me thing, make sure to read it. Sometimes there's fonts to download. That's really easy to do. You just click on it and install the font into your computer or you could use a different font, doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. So now that I've dragged these over, I just drag it over into Windows Movie Maker and see, it. I don't know why it does that, but it seems to work that way for some reason. I know before the first time I attempted to make an intro, I stopped immediately because I had that error thing come up and I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, okay, well, we'll try this one. So then you add the song. Some of the templates have the song built into them. If you don't want the song that's built into them, just go to edit and just shut the volume off and add your own song. Same with if you don't like the song that came with it, just pick your own song. Like I recommend something that goes obviously with the video, like if it's out of sync or something, it may not look the best. So, so we got the song going on here. So basically the next step, oh, yeah, see, that's a different song. Oh, cool, that's actually quite nice. I think I kind of like this one. So let's say I didn't like that one. So it was that one I used, where's the other song? I don't know where the other song went. Is it here? Okay, so here's the sound, yeah. Oh cool, so this one has two versions. I don't think I've seen that before. Okay, so usually what I do is I go back 
um, to here and I try to figure out exactly where the writing is placed so I watch it okay so it pops up I, I missed that <laughs> it pops up kind of when that triangle okay so it pops up when that triangle disappears so I watch the video you know okay so I see the triangle and it starts to disappear so this is totally like you know you could cho choose to be you know a perfectionist with this and have it timed quite like you know perfectly or be like whatever it doesn't matter this is totally up to you oops I lost a spot whoops I'm talking and whatnot so we'll just say about here um, I'm not gonna do 100% because I am just doing the tutorial so you know move the writing here I'm just gonna go simmer you put whatever name you want I'm gonna go simmer now I don't know what font that came with but I have quite a few fonts built in so I'm just gonna pick you know you just pick whatever font you want um, I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna go with bl not bold I want black so you just change the color you can have bold you can change the size of your writing it's completely up to you now the only disadvantage of doing this with Windows Movie Maker is the word effect like whatever you want to call it is not the same like this one is easy the template had like a pretty simple like effect to the words but some of them I've made I can't quite do the same like effect that it usually has so you just basically just have to go through and decide what one you like the best like that looks pretty I use this one the most or you can have it not like see that doesn't look good at all actually I went back and it's actually white the writing's white I went and checked that I forgot that I still can't decide I don't know I'm just gonna go with this one but this is just for you just pick whatever type you want so I'm going with that one and you know okay that's still a little small but on the other hand it's got to fit in that um whoops it's got to fit in that little area so let's see how did I do like it's got to fit in that circle so Okay, we'll watch this one more time. Like I said, I'm not doing perfect here, guys. It's just to show you. So something along that line. But you mess around with it. You know, you try to time that writing perfectly. You just mess around for a few minutes. Now, some of them have uh, screens that come in at the end. Now, see, this one I don't have to mess with the way the writing is. But if you have one where the screen, like, comes down and closes the writing... Um, if you look at my intro, I need to fix it because my name like appears white after the screen goes black and to me it doesn't look very good. So like of course that was the first intro I ever made so you know I, I'm pr improving all the time. So if you say like let's say the screen like went black here or something like that, you go to text tools and unfortunately you can't set an end time. I have no idea why because that would make life so much easier. But basically you go and you just mess around with the times and go okay I wanted to you know end at three or I wanted to, you can even get specific and go um, 3.58, like you can go crazy, like I have done that, ooh, that was a big number, that's not what I meant to have happen, but basically you can go nuts with this and, you know, try to specifically get that writing perfect, 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 so, so that's basically it, so there's the intro, that's all there is to it. Now, if, I will show you one more trick, if you want there to be a slogan underneath it like let's say the simmer pops up and I also want it to have my website or a slogan what you do is uh oh okay I thought my computer froze for a second you go and you save the movie this has been really laggy I don't know why okay you go movie save movie for high definition so just say okay, so I saved the movie and I removed the one that I was working on from this Windows Movie Maker here so all you do is you save it I have no idea why that's there but anyway so you put it back over and so I want to add a slogan to this oh that's weird I wonder why I put the green underneath that okay so you know around the time that the simmer pops in okay so again try to time the writing perfectly so oh no I guess I'm not gonna do this perfect guys just because it does take time sometimes to get it to do perfectly you could put 
simmer for life. I have no idea if that's anybody's slogan, guy. I'm so sorry if that's someone's slogan. It just popped in my head because it just simmer for life. I don't know. Just, you know, put that as your slogan. Try to put it. I'm sorry this is being laggy. I don't know if it's because I'm running fraps or whatnot, if that's why it's doing that. And just, again, match up your writing. And then, again, we'll do the same type. They'll have the writing come out the same way. And... So, so you get the double font. Now, I didn't line that up very well, so you just, you know, move it down. Okay, so I need it to be a bit lower because it's interfering with the other one. So watch this. Yeah, I have no idea why this is being so laggy. And they pop up. So that's just how you, if you want the double writing like that, because Windows Movie Maker does not have that option to do layers of writing, you basically have to save it re-add the movie and do your double layer that way if it's a bigger movie or something you're doing that would be a pain i i get that but unfortunately it's easy for doing these little intros so that's basically it i can't think of anything else it's the main rules is you know download it move it to your desktop move it to the windows movie maker try to get the writing uh you know to go with the template as best as you can or template sorry as best as you can and that is it oh see now it works i'm finishing and now it's working <laughs> let's see how it worked out so not bad it's not great but anyways and then just save that and you've got an intro so i hope that is helpful if you have any questions just ask them in the comments and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already bye